Hi everyone, it's Giselle. I just wanted to pop on a short message about um, being critical and how it's so, so very important to be your guidance first and foremost and not place your dependency on anybody, whether that's, you know, someone you follow, friends, family, even me, whomever you're getting inspiration and guidance from. Because oh, the full moon's doing some crazy stuff and I've been randomly guided onto a page of somebody who um, has got some very unsettling views with regards to Twin Flames. And I guess not everything that we come across is going to resonate and feel good to us. And I very strongly felt that with this particular person. He was so, I don't know, unsettling. That's the only word I can give it. Um, I clicked off quite quite fast because it's not something I wanted to linger in for too long um, but it just made me really realize again I, it's not something I've forgotten but it's something that I tell every single client is to challenge everything and to use their own guidance as a system to let them know whether it is or isn't for them because there's so much to choose from so many channels popping up and so much advice out there now that when you know when I started it was hardly anything there's 16 years ago and now there's so much like a whole buffet of things to choose from but a lot of stuff seems to not resonate with me and I'm sure that you're going through very similar things too. And I just want to remind everyone to be very picky about what it is that you're listening to and picking up and taking on as your new beliefs and to use your heart because your heart is never wrong. This is why when people book with me, I never tell them straight, you know, if this is or is not your twin flame. It's not up to me to tell you. It's up to you to find out and to feel and to learn throughout your experiences. And I'm only here as a bit of a guide to help if that's what you choose to to get from me. But um, it's not down to, to me to tell you any of this, basically. Um, yeah. I just... Full moon's always a little bit all over the place. But um, this particular one was just bit mad so <laughs> I just hope that if you're listening to me and you feel good then that's cool if you don't then be welcome to click off I don't mind at all I totally understand that I cannot resonate with everyone and that I cannot cater to everyone's needs my viewpoints often don't really match that of the mainstream and that's something I pride myself in but if it's not for you please click off and if it is for you thank you for being supportive but I also want you to know that not every single thing is going to be completely 100% resonating with you and that's fine I mean I had a reading with somebody yesterday a highly intelligent client who did very much challenge me whenever they didn't believe, they'll say, no, I don't agree with that. And that's cool. You don't have to agree. Um, and then when they do agree, they say, I very strongly agree with that. And I know, yeah, that's someone who's very, very direct in their talk. And that's something I appreciate because there's no point BSing each other. That's what I'm trying to get at, you know, and you feel like you've been led on a wild goose chase. There's really no point. So what I would say is be very selective, very reliant upon your own intuition, because you'll feel it, you'll feel it. Your heart will either feel expanded and happy when you resonate with something, or you will feel disconnected and pinched off and small when you don't resonate with something. So the best person to guide you is you. And I, and I'm sure many other people are only here to lend a hand but we're certainly not, I mean, I definitely am not proclaiming to know it all and to be an expert. I mean, who's an expert at Twin Flames anyway? It's not like there's a guidebook or a Bible or anything like that. And even even the traditional Bible, I don't tend to follow word for word because it's been translated so many times, you know. Actually, I don't have a religion, but that's beside the point. Be your own guidance. That's the best thing for you. And I do hope that this inspires you to follow your heart because that's the best way. That's the way that you can never fail. And you may get your sources and inspirations from many different places. And that's a good thing because variety 
you know, is good for you because it helps you to grow. It helps you to expand. It's like me, I read four books a month sometimes. It's cool because I want to absorb as much information and filter through as much knowledge so that I can grow in places that need um, adding to and I can discern and be critical about things I do not agree with. That's very vital and you know, it's it's something you should apply to life. That's not just for university. It's actually a very good life principle. <laughs> so I hope that this has helped anyone who felt a bit confused. Um, and that it's so awesome if you do rely on your own guidance. You know, that's just... that Keep doing that. I encourage it highly. So thanks all for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, my details are in the description. And have a beautiful day. Namaste.